Hey guys, it's Moody here, and I'm bringing you a little cup battle today as opposed to any that you might have seen for the past few days. So, um, I just battled a guy from a Zat, so he doesn't really have a channel. And I guess I have a kind of team. I mean, I have some pretty serious Pokemon up in here, like Manfu and Krogunk, but, um, you know, I make something of it, and... I was kind of thinking that he might lead off with Magnemite, expecting my bronzer. So I'm just like, in any situation, leading off with Mianfu is probably the best scenario because I'm scarfed. Except for this one, because I don't want him to possibly win the speed tie if there is one. I mean, I'm kind of assuming that he is choice scarfed as well, especially since he's carrying a U-turn. So I went into my bronzer, which is the best thing that I really have to take it because um, if he went for the fighting high jump kick or drain punch I mean I could have gone into crow gunk but I didn't want to risk him going for something else and then um, I lose my Pokemon early in the match so <laughs> I figured bronzer was the best option in this case and luckily I was also able to live and be able to set up stealth rocks and get rid of the sub, so I am glad that I got that out of the way, so I'm in a pretty good position because now I get to go into my Mianfu again, and I knew that he would switch, so I figure I'm going to go for a U-turn and then just switch into an appropriate counter. So I do U-turn out. It's not going to be very effective to a Ghastly, and right now I obviously don't know what kind of set this Ghastly carries, but... Um, I figured I'm gonna go into my one of my other fastest Pokemon and go into Staryu in case he's not scarfed. In case he happens to be the variant which is substitute three attacks, then I can outspeed it no problem. And luckily, I did outspeed it here, and I did not miss Hydro Pump. So he goes into Lilip, which is something he probably should have done just to begin with, expecting a Hydro Pump. But you know what can you do? And here. I didn't, I didn't want to just switch into Mianfu just directly in case he could, you know, toxic me, for instance. So I figured the the most expendable Pokemon I have on my team is Pichu right now. And I was actually contemplating going for the Encore when he went for the Toxic, but I didn't want to end up possibly wasting that turn. Obviously, I regret it later on, but, you know, shit happens in the end. Pichu is going to be giving me a safe switch into Mianfu, and that's going to be able to scare it out. Or I'm assuming he's going to get scared out. And now that Ghastly is also gone, I don't have to worry about any Pokemon blocking my attack. So I'm just going to go straight for the high jump kick here and hope I don't miss. Yes, and I don't miss, and it does over half. So that's a two hit KO, and I get this Wooper out of the way, which is fantastic because. I know whoopers are usually physically bulky, and that could be, you know, really annoying in the end. So, he goes back into his Manfu once again. I'm predicting a fighting move, and I don't want it to go down. I don't want it to, like, end up coming down to a speed tie. So, luckily, I made the right prediction. I went into my Crow Gunk, and I'm just going to go for the fake out here. I do carry Vacuum Wave, but I really don't think that Vacuum Wave will do a lot to a Lilip, so I'm going to go back into my Mianfu after seeing his moveset is basically Toxic Recover and his only attacking move is Energy Ball, and I know I can live in Energy Ball, so as long as I don't miss the high jump kick, I'm good, so I don't. I kind of really don't want to rely on high jump kick, honestly, because sometimes it's let me down. I'd, sometimes I figure, okay, best thing to go with is drain punch. But anyway, here I stay in, and I'm like, if I lose the speed tie, I still have a crow gunk, and I don't, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm just saying in that scenario, even if I did lose the speed tie, I still had crow gunk that I could have gone into afterwards to take care of that. So here I go into star you. I hope he doesn't want to set up a Dragon Dance, so that's why I decided to switch. Also, the fact that Mianfu has Regenerator, and if he does set up a Dragon Dance, I'm really going to need Mianfu later on, so I uh, goes for the Outrage, and I live at 1, and I hit Hydro Pump, and that's going to take him out, so Stormy's doing work, and then I think his last Pokemon is Magnemite, and 
I outspeed that too, and Starmie's doing work. Star you. I don't know why I said Starmie. Honestly, I love this set. It's a more offensive set, although it still carries the rapid spin and recover, but I love it. So I'm just saying, I hope you guys enjoy this match, and I hope you all have a wonderful and fantastic day, because at least here, it's been fabulous weather, and it's also Pi Day, so happy Pi Day, guys.